All right. Happy Saturday afternoon. Today is October 19th, 2019, and we are continuing with Connected Educator Appreciation Day, hashtag C-E-D-U-A-D. My name is Chris Nessie, and I am joined today by the Dr. Will, who's going to co-moderate this awesome podcast panel with me. Dr. Will, how are you today? Doing all right, Chris. Thanks for uh, the introduction. I got to say, Dr. Will, I, is that a street sign above your head that says Dr. Will? That is very cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got it in New Orleans. I, I, that is awesome. Very cool. We were all just talking about our, our setups and our, our backgrounds. So you have a nice custom piece right there. That's very cool. <laughs> all right. First and foremost, let's thank the team behind Connected Educator Appreciation Day. So super huge shout outs to Vlatka Butkovic, Tim McDonald, Michael Sinclair, and Cassie Reeder. They reached out to Dr. Will and myself to host this panel on podcasting, and we have a great hour planned for you. Make sure you're using the hashtag on Twitter if you're following along. And again, that's hashtag C-E-D-U-A-D. Let's introduce ourselves. Dr. Will, we know your name, but tell us just a little bit more from your perspective about who you are. Uh, Thanks. I'm an instructional technologist, a writer, consultant, uh, lover of all steak, and I am a podcaster. That's it? <laughs> hey, you know, keep it short and sweet. My name is Chris Nessie. I am a high school social studies teacher from New Jersey, and I am also a podcaster. I host the House of EdTech podcast. And again, we have a great panel lined up for you. So let's meet our panelists this afternoon. First up, we have Amber Harper. Amber is a native of Indiana, and she is currently a teacher coach after having spent 12 years in the classroom, and she is the host of the Burned In Teacher podcast. Amber, how are you today? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for having me here today. This is really Thank you for being here. It's going to be awesome. We also have with us this afternoon, Kim LaPree. Kim is a veteran middle school English teacher from California, IA, and she is the host of the Teachers Need Teachers podcast. Kim, how are you? I am fabulous. It's finally not hot anymore out here. And it does get pretty hot in California. It does. (laughs) Also joining us this afternoon, we have Mike Washburn. Mike is a former computer science teacher who is currently the head of curriculum and training for Logics Academy in Canada, our neighbors to the north, and he is the co-host of the On Education podcast. Mike, how are you today? Yeah, I'm fantastic. This is exciting. I'm excited to be here. Because we're a bunch of people with microphones who <laughs> <laughs> like Fancy to looking. And, <laughs> and we like to talk to ourselves. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> and last but not least, also joining us this afternoon, we have Dr. Samantha Fesich. She is a professor of education at Grove City College in Pennsylvania. She is the author of EduMagic, a guide for pre-service teachers, and she's also the host of the EduMagic podcast. Dr. Fesich, how are you this afternoon? Hey, uh, I'm doing good now that I'm in the room. So, shoo, doing great. Thanks so much for being intro. <laughs> Yay. Woo. So, One, thank you to everybody for being here and being a part of this panel. We're very excited. And Dr. Will and I have some great topics that we've planned out because, well, why not? It's a great time to connect and talk about podcasting. Uh, But first, let's send it around the horn and briefly tell us about your podcast. Mike, let's start with you. So On Education was uh, created in March of 2018. So we haven't been around for a super long time, but since then we've, uh, we've been lucky to uh, talk to uh, quite a few amazing educators from all over the world uh, doing absolutely incredible things. Um, we, one of the things that we kind of hang our hat on is that we don't duck the tough stuff. We, we talk about a lot of the tough issues in education, a lot of the things that um, uh, maybe the average uh, person might shy away from. We talk a lot about equity and, and you know, the, the politics of education because we think that that's a critical thing to talk about. Um, and 
you know, other, other, the politicians are talking about the politics of education. So, you know, educators should be talking about the politics of education as well. So, uh, so we, we don't duck the, the hard conversations. We engage in them. Um, and uh, we like to have fun. We're a little irreverent. We're a little fun. We, we have a, the, the whole top of the podcast is a little bit goofy sometimes. Um, Glenn and I are both pretty big video game nerds. So we, we tend to, to riff about video games every once in a while too. And that tends to lead in some pretty fun conversations. So, so that's on education. Yeah. Awesome. Kim, tell us a little bit about Teachers Need Teachers. Yeah, it's the podcast for new and beginning teachers. And I started this podcast because I am also a beginning teacher mentor. And I found that a lot of these new teachers are struggling with exactly the same problems and I was answering the same questions. So I was blogging about it and I decided that I also wanted to reach a wider audience. So on my podcast, I I do it seasonally based on what I know they're struggling with at certain times of the year. And I give them advice on how to push through certain struggles. I also, since I teach English, I pull in content area experts because I know that I can't talk intelligently about math. Sometimes I'm still adding with my fingers. So um, I make sure that I get guests that I know will really provide a lot of value to new teachers at that particular time of the year. Awesome. Amber, tell us about the Burned In Teacher podcast. Sure. Uh, thank you. So I could just go ahead and start with my tagline. Um, it is one part burnout and all other parts action, inspiration, and support for teachers dealing with burnout. Um, Burned In Teacher, the Burned In Teacher podcast is one year old. And it started uh, a little bit like uh, like yours did, Kim, with I was answering the same questions, having a lot of teachers reach out to me about the same things, um, having the same questions and struggles. Um, and teaching it, you know, for 12 years, I had experience with burnout. And I decided I wanted, ha- wanted to have teachers come on and give them a voice. Because I think a lot of times um, when you're struggling with burnout, you feel like you don't have a voice or you are afraid to share your story with people that can see you face to face. So I wanted to give people a safe place to share their story of, uh, of burnout and also how they had solved their problem with burnout um, one time or another or more. Um, so I do give teachers an opportunity to come on anonymously. Um, I haven't had anybody take me up on that, actually. People are, you know, which is, which is fantastic. I want to empower teachers to tell their story, not in a, ne- in a negative way, but in an empowering way to let people know that they're not alone. Um, I also have experts come on to talk about, you know, ways to um, ha- practice self-care, as well as different topics that burn teachers out, such as planning, grading, you know, all doing all the things, being burned out by all of the overwhelm and all there is to do, um, but also ways to um, connect with students and work, you know, trauma-informed instruction, you know, things like that that can empower teachers with the tools and strategies they need to rise above that struggle rather than just stay in it. Awesome. And Thank Sam, you. tell us about Edu Magic. Sure, I'd be happy to. So my podcast is all for that future teacher or the pre-service teacher, or some people call them the teachers in training, but it is geared just for them. Uh, there's not much out there to support the students who are going to become educators. So I, with much support from Chris and a great Google Hangout with um, encouragement and support and all the tools that I need, um, Magic launched last April. And we're 26 episodes young, and I bring in future teachers onto the show and share their edu awesomeness. And I also bring on practicing educators because I think they can learn a lot about their stories as well. For example, I had an educator come on and share about how he wasn't accepted into the ed program whenever he went to college, but that didn't stop him to become a teacher. And or maybe they decided to change their major. And so these are lots of different things that future teachers are thinking about. Um, Also, you know, resumes and job fairs and all those things too, but it's just there to support them and encourage them and show them just like everybody else is that they're not alone. And there's there's people out there to help raise them up. Awesome. I mean, Dr. Will, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree, um, but we have, between the six of us, six different podcasts from all over the country, and it, it's really just a slice of how diverse podcasting can be and what you can get from listening to podcast content. It's amazing the variety that's out here. 